Oh, this sucks. This actually sucks. This is horrible. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a pretty interesting start in a region that we don't get to play enough in as the nation of Pegu. Pegu is a nation located in the region of Burma right here, and we don't get to be here too often, man. We did play Arkan, we did play Ava all the way back in season A, obviously, and uh, a lot of these other guys over here here they don't have unique national ideas or we haven't played them yet obviously as pegu we start off as theravada right here with this 354 guy who's actually pretty good and i actually don't know pegu ideas so let's check them out right now we start off with plus 10 percent provincial trade power which is kind of mid the merchant is good the dev discount is good and then we got plus 10 percent trade efficiency goods produced tolerance of the true faith plus two plus 10 percent moral armies a 10 percent miltag discount plus one government thingy and plus one diplo rep so actually a pretty good set of national ideas right here aside from that uh provincial trade power thing but i am quite enjoying these uh you know sort of money making focused uh national ideas now i have played pegu once before uh back when leviathan dropped or something like that i don't know they got updated and then i played them and it was a pretty fun campaign back then i think i even did a guide back then don't watch it if it's still up on youtube it's pretty bad but uh yeah man uh as pegu i'm anticipating a pretty difficult campaign right here because obviously ayutaya and all of these other guys right here start off as being tributaries and even if they stop being being tributaries it is going to be pretty hard to fight them unless we can get some good alliances going arkan is the first nation that we need to fight but by the time we're ready to fight them they get strong allies all of these guys up here are ava tributaries so we have to fight ava and their boys every time we want to fight someone over here so pegu man probably one of the more difficult starts over in this uh, uh you know uh, southeast asia region aside from maybe these uh, guys right here so uh, i don't know how this pegu game is gonna go but what do we do as pegu well pegu interestingly enough does have two unique achievements the first one being that's no mon whereas pegu we need to own 50 provinces that are not mon culture our primary culture which obviously seems easy enough but then the next achievement is actually one of the more annoying ones in u4 called the sailor Mon, where we need to have 100,000 sailors as Pegu. Now, you might think this is not a big deal, but man, you. I'm assuming most of you guys know how absurdly difficult it is to get that many sailors and all the things we need to do. Conquer various coastlines, pick up maritime, pick up economic as well for the policy. It's, uh, it's gonna be pretty tedious, man. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Either way, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today, trying to get those achievements because uh, that was the most liked comment. So I'm stuck with it. So let's jump in as Pegu. All right, right here we are as Pegu. I'm gonna be honest for about the fifth time. That's right, boys. I haven't had much luck getting these campaigns started or well, getting them started is not the problem we run into trouble later on because expansion right here is pretty difficult man and uh, i just i just for some reason can't get the ball rolling uh i tried this campaign a couple of days ago tried it yeah i've been trying it for almost a week now and i decided since videos are starting to back up this campaign has to be recorded i can't skip them so this i decided is gonna be the campaign that you see uh, no matter if we only get to play for 5 15 50 or 150 years i just can't get the ball rolling man either way here we are as pegu man i've been saying these things for 50 times now it feels like uh let's go ahead and take monastic education right here we do we do have two free merchants uh i'm gonna put one in uh, malacca right here which is what i do to uh uh collect uh doesn't matter burma is one of the worst uh, trade nodes in the world and i'm gonna put the other guy where did i put him right in siam once again to collect i tell both of these guys to establish communities to help me get allies that will in turn help me defeat ayutaya eventually so that's the game plan right here man um usually what i've been doing in these campaigns is allying Janpur right here to get help versus bengal and stuff like that and allying one of uh, or two of khmer lan shang and diviet and then i try to get her I, I try to go for Malacca down here as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Let's go ahead and do the estate setup right here and uh, we'll continue playing. Alrighty, estate stuff done. Not making a lot of money at all. I am not gonna set rivals. Let's try and look for a diplo rep guy, which we do have. I am gonna hire him. And now it's time to start spying on Arkan. Start improving relations with uh, 
Khmer and improving relations with Malacca. Yeah, so there we go. We're doing that. Uh, like I said, Arkan is obviously the easiest nation to fight right at the start. They do usually ally one of these guys, but by the time we're ready to fight them, they get another strong ally someplace else, man, which is usually what's the problem. But yeah, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Okay, actually a pretty good start so far. I've allied Malacca and Lanshang working to get Dai Viet and gonna work to get John Poor. But uh, I got a spider work on Arkan up. They haven't allied anyone else except for Twangu, which is, uh, sorry, Tongu. Uh, which is honestly the perfect start, I would say. So let's go ahead and declare on them. We're not going to co belligerent Twangu because th then uh, these guys are going to come in or whatever. And in this war, we're going to full annex uh, both of these guys, right? Yeah, we do have, by the way, a very cool, unique missions as Pegu right here. We can change um, our country name to uh, Raman Adessa or something like that. Yeah, pretty nice mission tree. I don't know how relevant it is going to be to our uh, game or whatever. But yeah, what I was getting at is uh, let's go ahead and declare on Arkan. Dude, I've been playing so much Red Alert too that the controls actually feel weird to me playing U4. I tried moving them with my left mouse button. And there we go. War with Archon and Twango is done. Uh, let's go ahead and a separate piece, full annex them. Oh, man, it's so much aggressive expansion in this region, man. It's it's actually so weird, you know? How much is it going to be if I full annex all of this? Yeah, look, one war and already more than 50 aggressive expansion. That, that's just how it is in this region, man. But yeah, I'm separate piecing these guys so I can uh, pretty much get more money. And there we go. That's our first war done. Actually, I'm pretty satisfied with that start. Did I forget? I forgot to rival Archon. That's right. Well... <laughs> Uh, these things happen. These things happen. Obviously, once again, not a perfectly ideal start. Oh, an alliance offer from John Poor. Excellent. I'm gonna try and go for Orissa too. Maybe like that will be strong enough to take on Bengal. That's only allied to Chagatai. Interesting, man. They don't have anyone else in India. Now, Chagatai is obviously one of the most annoying nations to fight in U4 due to their subject Yarkin's level 3 fort right here and their forts. But I feel like if me, Janpur, and Orissa declare on Bengal, we could definitely take them down before Chagatai and Yarkin arrive. Now, I just noticed something very interesting, man, that hasn't happened so far in uh, any of the campaigns. Ayutthaya actually doesn't hate me, and I can royal marry them, which I think if I break my alliance with Lanshang would enable me to ally them. Now, obviously, they're the strongest nation over here, right? And one of the main nations that we want to fight but do we actually attempt to ally them now so we're allied to the strongest nation and in turn they would help us fight these guys over here and even bengal because they are rival so yeah i i did read up on some strats about pegu and this is you know a strategy that is mentioned quite a lot allying ayutthaya but it's just it's never been possible for me and you know i haven't been restarting to get that uh to happen so i think what i do here is royal marry them and break my alliance with lanshang and ally them yeah there it is there's an alliance with ayutthaya man and i wonder if i can re-ally lanshang now okay i did re-ally lanshang as well uh if ayutthaya threatens to break that alliance with me obviously i'll dissolve it with uh, lanshang but this is really good let's let's check bengal real quick so ayutthaya would help yes with favors lanshang wouldn't it's too far away malacca wouldn't and Janpur would with favors as well. Dude, with Ayutthaya and Janpur, we can obliterate Bengal. No luck. Oh, I was about to say, no luck on the Orissa Alliance, but th there it is. <laughs> okay, perfect. I'm really satisfied with what we have going here. Orissa would help as well. Excellent. Let's create favors with all of these guys. Now, taking a look at some of these minor guys that we want to fight up here after we deal with Bengal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I would get help versus those guys as well, man, from Lanshang and Ayutthaya. Maybe Orissa even. So yeah, we're pretty good. I do border Ava and it is most beneficial to take them down first yeah i'm liking where this is going so far i think this is the best start we've had not to say that this doesn't mean we're gonna fail but yeah man speaking of those achievements um let's see sailor mon there it is have a hundred thousand sailors and uh there's that's no mon have 50 non-mon cultured provinces i got three right now all right got tech four in every category so it is time to start developing the renaissance as well uh, our capital pegu itself is pretty cheap it's farmlands as a center of trade uh so it's not bad at all i'm not gonna get more loans to upgrade it to a level two center of trade uh i think that will be wasting too much money but yeah let's go ahead and develop it up man i'm gonna expand infrastructure as well and then uh there we go use up a bunch of uh diplo and mill points now my ruler died at this time which actually comes at a pretty bad time because i was just about to declare on um what you call it 
Scarlet on Bengal. Uh, no matter. Uh, let's go ahead and get a general right here. Actually pretty good. And uh, yeah, I got favors with everyone. Uh, all of the guys that I wanted to call in will come in. And actually, this is a pretty good time to declare because Bengal is fighting like Tripura and Assam and Sadia right here. And they don't have any manpower. So we can definitely crush them before Chagatai and Yarkon get here. This is the time to declare. I haven't fought Bengal this early in my previous runs. Usually I'm more focused on... Uh, I was more focused on Ava and their boys and Ayutthaya down here. But yeah, let's see if this different strategy that I'm doing works out. Excellent. I'm really satisfied with this. Full Siege Bengal, no man power, no boats. And I'm just going to let my boys take care of Chagata and Yarkand and we're out. Whew. I'm loving this start, man. I'm absolutely loving this start. Uh, tier 2 Gavra Forum time. We do start off with the Mandala system, Tier 1 Gavra Forum, which obviously encourages Vassal play, but uh, I don't think we're going to go too heavy with the whole Vassal stuff. So let's just go Strength and Noble Privileges. Oh, this is actually not good. So Orissa got declared on by Bahmanis. Orissa itself is pretty strong along with their subjects. We actually can beat Bahmanis, man, me and Orissa. Ah, uh, shoot. I don't want to lose all that prestige or the diplorep, bro. And Orissa is all the way up here. I guess we need to peace out in this war faster than... Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm going to peace out for this. Obviously, we can't take too much from Bengal since a lot of these provinces are super devved. But by taking this, we'll gain perma claims on stuff over here. Chittagong is really good. Level 3 center of trade, by the way. That's going to go down to level 2, obviously. Um, Yeah, I think this is the peace deal we get with Bengal. Let's get war ups and money too and peace out. And with that, Orissa is going to return. They're in a pretty good situation, honestly. And I think we can deal with Bahmanis like that so I am gonna accept this even even if I might not do too much but with that we can do this mission right here this gives us perma claims on this which I do aim to conquer by the way and um yeah honestly looking pretty strong still in this war by the way I don't know what's gonna happen not too relevant to me I don't want Orissa to be too powerful anyway uh let's embrace the renaissance okay Bahmanis beat up Orissa doesn't really matter I can focus on my own things right now so let's uh actually reduce war exhaustion right here let's wait for some of these separatists to pop up beat them up and then i think we're gonna go for ava right here man um lan shang is the only one that would help me out but we can definitely do it like that perfect yeah or maybe yeah yeah ava and then their tributaries or maybe some of these small guys right here kachar and tripura they'd actually be pretty easy to take down let me take a look at their forts level one level one mm, yeah all right so i decided to fight ava first after all let's go ahead and declare on them call in lan shang uh, should be simple enough so i'm actually gonna take it pretty slow right here man uh let's uh, peace out ava for these two provinces and make them cancel subject on prome just like that and i'll go ahead and take all of their money there we go that war is done now we can fight prome Without fighting Ava, their allies are Lan and Na and Mong Pai, which should be easy enough to take care of. Uh, I have a truce with Prome, because why? Well, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, then. If I knew that was gonna happen, I wouldn't have done it at all, man. I was just, I would have just taken more stuff from Ava. Whatever. See, yeah, I messed up. I should have fight. Uh, I should have fought Tripura because now Orissa's allied to them. Now it's time for our first idea group here, and uh, since we have to take maritime and economic later on, uh, for the what you call it for the sailors. There we go. Plus 75% national sailors modifier from maritime, and uh, there's also the policy with economic for plus 35% national sailors. So we gotta use those. But we are gonna get like three or four idea groups anyway by the time we get at that large to we to where we can you know sustain a hundred thousand sailors so i'm thinking we open up with something else then economic then maritime and then maybe something else for our fourth one uh obviously i'm thinking mill related here for the first one this terrain right here that we're gonna fight in is pretty unforgiving the jungles and the climate and stuff like that but we're not that low on manpower man so you know the quantity i guess is out defensive could be pretty good since we already have morale to stack even more morale but honestly, I'm not sold on it. Yeah, not sold on it, to be honest. Uh, maybe offensive in quality? Hmm. I don't know. Defensive is really attractive, man. You know what? Defensive it is. Why not? Why not? Haven't opened up with it so far. I'm doing a different strategy this run, so why not keep doing a different strategy? Yeah, defensive. All right, what I've done here is spied on Mong Pai. They are an Ava tributary, and I'm going to fight them and reset my truce with Ava and Prome like this. So let's just call in Ayutai and Lanshang. Let's make this as fast as possible. First of these, I'm going to go with this. 
And there we go, this war is done. Let's full annex Mong Pai right here. Excellent. That reset our truce with Ava and Prome. Super, super sweet right there. Now, my truce with Bengal is up, but things have changed. They have allied Delhi and Malwa, which does make uh, a war versus them significantly more annoying. And the only nation willing to help out in this is John Poor. Orissa sucks right now. I don't even know why I'm still allied to them. I should probably break that alliance as soon as I make them break their alliance with Tripura. Yeah, yeah, I guess I think we're going to be stalemating with Bengal here for a while and instead expanding this way. My main goal right now is to eat up Ava and all of their tributaries along with Lana. Okay, let's make Orissa break their alliance with Tripura. And now let's go ahead and uh, fight Tripura. They're allyless. I'll take everything I can get, man. Ah, oh, royal marriage with Orissa ended. Do I dissolve my alliance with them, man? They're allied to Jaunpur, which makes them pretty okay defensively. Let's not break the alliance with them. Oh, uh, this is done. Let's deal with these tiny guys up here real quick before Bengal decides to fight them. Now, this is something actually that I never even thought of, man. Uh, I just took a look at it right now for the first time. We got the Corvée system right here, which is an absolutely super powerful tier three government reform. Uh, it gives us a 10% construction discount, another 10% national manpower, just like strength and noble villages here. And then most importantly, we gain a thousand manpower if we build barracks, but very, very importantly, 200 sailors when we build docks. Yeah, definitely going with the Corvée system. Literally nothing else is relevant to our game here. Done with these guys too. What we want to do now is fight Prome. I'll call in Ayutthaya to make things faster and White Piece Lan Na and Wang Fuan because Lan Na uh, should be next after we fight Prome. We can uh, renovate the Emerald Buddha Shrine. It'll be removed from Pegu, but Pegu gets Emerald Buddha. Yule Prestige Monthly Karma. I don't get it. Karma plus what? But it says Karma negative. I don't understand this decision, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, we're done with Prome. Finally, it's 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 so hard to fight the initial two nations that you want to fight. Uh, now we could take a mission till the army size and 8% of the force. Okay, yeah, so what I'm going to do is just hire these guys. That's still not 90%, is it? Yeah, let's do this real quick just so we can take that mission. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rival Awa. Now we should be able to take that mission. Yes, there it is. Resist the Burman subjugation CB on Lana, which we're not going to use. We're going to conquer them. And uh, then some Burma claims up here. Perfect. Seriously, Senui is allied to Ming? I guess I can make them break that alliance when I fight uh, Kale. Oh, come on, man. Shh. Ugh. Yeah, this is this is this sucks so much. It sucks so much. I got a Regency Council, man. I can't declare wars. Nine. No, what is it? It is. It's nine years. Oh, just helping out John Porn some stupid thing up here. God damn it. Look, Alva, man. No allies. We could fight them so easily. The truce with Lan Na is about to expire. A super important nation that we need to take down for our mission. What do I freaking do for nine years now, man? It's something. Wait, where did my alliance with Ayutthaya go? Oh, they rivaled me, man. Damn, that sucks. That actually sucks. And they've allied Ava. See, this is what happens with... Oh, okay. I can probably link with Khmer here. In that case, we got to take them down. Ayutthaya's rivals are Daiviet, Lanshong, and me. So I'd rather link with Daiviet here. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh... I think what we do here is leave all forts turned off, uh, stand in my vassals province and let the coup happen. That way I won't have to wait six more years and I'll get the legitimacy back up, even if we do lose 50 legitimacy. Oh my god, the 5% chance won out? It did. That's just my luck this campaign. Oh no, I did lose legitimacy. Oh coup attempt what happens is it like a civil war it's not like a civil war huh. oh no oh shoot dude it's not like a civil war this sucks oh frick me how do i end it oh this sucks this actually sucks this is horrible way worse than civil war okay i got a new ruler i i lost a bunch of crownlin but at least now we can do wars damn the coups suck dude civil wars are great but coups? Oof. Damn, merchant guilds, huh? Okay, but even though we have these negative effects from legitimacy, it is time to continue with our wars by fighting, um, who is this? Mang Nai. I think I'm gonna pick these guys up as a vassal, because why not? 
There we go, got uh, Strong Duchies and got Diviet as an ally now as well. Okay, I think with these guys, we should be able to take down Ayutthaya. Yeah, they... Mm. Second idea group time, gonna go with Economic now. Okay, I think the time has come to fight Ayutthaya. Oopsie. Uh, yeah, uh, because Diviet, Langshang, and Malaka will all join. That's way more troops than them. We can peace out Ava, Senwi right here. Yeah. I think it's a good time as any. I'm gonna go ahead and expand temple rights for tier 4. War is going okay. It is pretty difficult, even with all the help. How many times this campaign, man? What are these rulers made of? Freaking sugar? Jesus Christ. At least legitimacy fixed itself, but every freaking time, dude. They die so often. Ugh. This war has been absolutely horrible. Everyone got pieced out. I'm in such heavy debt. I lost so much manpower. They're, they're so strong. Uh, oh, they went with Aristo. Of course, that's why they're so strong. I got a piece out here. I'm taking these three provinces, two of which are forts, money, and war reps. All right, uh, re-allied Lanshang, made them break their alliance with Ava. Now Ava has no allies. Let's fight them. Ava's done. I'm not going to full annex them, though, because I don't want to inherit their tributaries. So I'm only doing this. Now we can do another mission up the Irrawaddy army tradition. Sure. So now I need to have the Bagan temples at tier three. It's a tier one right now, I guess. That's never going to happen. <laughs> Next war, going to fight Mong Yang for Xipa's core. All right, this is done. I'm going to give this back to Xipa and vassalize the rest of them since I can't full annex them since this got occupied by Lan Shang. So that's what I'm doing. Man, a hardest nation I fought? Ayutthaya. Second hardest? Lan Na. No meme. Why the frick did Ming rival me? <laughs> Let's go and fight the Mong Kuang. The work here is pretty much done. I'm actually going to piece these guys out by giving this to my subjects right here since they are a Ming tributary. Uh, not taking everything, of course. And then I'm going to full annex Mong Kuang. Now, I'm starting to stack on points right here, and it is time to develop colonialism since it did spawn. I do need to bump up this province for a certain mission right here. So I think that is what I'm going to do, man. It, it doesn't make sense, though. It's really expensive. Oh, well, maybe not that much more expensive than some other ones. Let's activate Encourage Dev right there. It is right next to my capital, which does help quite a bit. And let's just uh, spend a bunch of... Uh... Now we can do this mission. There we go. The center of trade in Pegu got increased to three. Very nice. Okay, sold the crownland right now, actually, to be able to take this mission. And then I'm gonna be land. Okay, almost back up to 30 again. I was over 30, obvious. Ooh, Ming is finally going down. Urat and Shagatai declare on them. Very cool. It's also time for me to destroy Kale and uh, Ava right here. And maybe Senwi too. Let's, uh, let's just call in everyone. Make this super, super quick. Giving this guy to my boys, splitting up between them. And then it's a separate peaceful annex on Ava and Kale. Perfect. Okay, everyone here uh, that I wanted to fight is done. Now we need to integrate these minor guys, deal with La Na, and then I gotta try for Ayutthaya again, man. Uh, it's the same guys again, and by the way, like this, last time, I barely beat them. Actually, now may be a good time to strike. Why are they so weak? Ooh, look at this, man. For tier 5, we got Amphibious Specialization, which gives us uh, plus 10% National Sailors. Now... I don't think we should take it right now because obviously we're super far off of that achievement, but later it'll definitely come in useful. I just got to remember to swap to it. Swap to tier five. Swap your tier five government reform later when you actually gun for the sailor's achievement. Excellent. For now though, uh, since we're so defensible and stuff like that, I am going to go with defensive stance to lean into the whole defensiveness thing even more. But later, we definitely got to swap to amphibious specialization. I need 50 uh gov reform progress for that okay always nice i've annexed one of my subjects it is time to fight ayutaya again hopefully it'll be easier this time man let's declare for talang right there well this was extremely easy i really don't know what the problem was last time but let's take stuff down here focusing mainly on the coastline jesus man this aggressive expansion in southeast asia is just so annoying but yeah i'm gonna do this here well, Ming blew up. We gotta start chipping away at Lan Na right here because their provinces are really, really developed. Uh, let's call in these guys and uh, yeah, annex one more guy. About to annex one more guy. Pretty standard. Tough not to crack these uh, Lan Na fellers. If I full annex them, it's 80 aggressive expansion. I won't get coalitioned, obviously, but it's still weird. But I am gonna do it finally, man. Finally, Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. We gained a bunch of things. And a subjugation CB on Ayutthaya. I don't know. When these guys thought of those CBs, man, not to knock on Leviathan anymore, it was a great DLC. It's just the patch itself was not very good. It launched with bugs. Why would... How would you ever subjugate Ayutthaya? How small do you gotta make them to subjugate them? I don't know. Yeah. Oh! 
Look how much Diviet just took. Jesus. If Minka lapses, Diviet is always like super strong, man. Finally wrapped up economic as well. We've had some really bad luck with rulers this campaign and monarch point generation and stuff like that. Well, that's an obscure modifier if I've ever seen one. Dev discount in primary culture. So weird. Did LA Bahmanis, by the way, which is great. Um, just trying to do anything I can with Bengal here. <laughs> Let's hit Ayutthaya again, man. Uh, yeah, for Bangkok. I can't believe Diviet didn't transfer a occupation of this to me, man. What assholes, dude. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Sure. Ah, I got it. You can't see it because I'm just recording you four, but it just popped up right here behind me, man. Just as Diviet calls me into some war that doesn't really matter. But one achievement is done. Yes, there it is. That's no Mon as Pegu. Own at least 50 provinces that are not of the Mon culture. And I have, well, 50, I guess. I think exactly 50. I think I needed four more before this. But there we go. One achievement done. This was the easy one. Oh, let's accept this. Um, now for the other one, man. Obviously, we need to have 100,000 sailors. There it is. I uh, I don't have 100,000 sailors. In fact, my max sailors is 19,909. So let's just say it's 20,000, right? If I get a maritime, uh, this is, of course, calculating, not expanding at all. If I get maritime and then I have economic as well, that's 75% and 35%, which is 100. 10% and if I swap to this over here it's a hundred and twenty percent which means my max sailors would be like 30 something thousand and then if we build docks that's a bit more I guess I don't know dry docks or like ah, diplo 19 Jesus we need more coasts I might even start colonizing what I uh, didn't say right at the start is that uh, I, I sort of planned to quit just call it if if i sense that that achievement would take too long and i've already been recording all day dude shoot i started at like 9 a.m it's 1 30 already yeah let's play for half an hour more see where we're at then i'm gonna eat. now i have more than 50 favors with bahmanis right here which means i could make them end their alliance with bengal uh oirat declared on uh no no chagate declared on oirat and bengal i guess is busy up there i could make bahmanis end that i could call in john poor in that case Earlier, Diviet did want to join. So yeah, I'm going to wait, man. Hmm, pretty strong crusher right here. It's always like this, man. You have a shitty ruler that you want to get rid of, and he's not dying. I need the admin points. You know, something I need to remember to do later is to exploit dev right here to get even more sailors. Honey, it's time to dev again. Yes, dear. Time to spawn the printing press. Let's dev Dagon. Wait, how can I build the Shwedagon Pagoda when I have 20 ducats? Oh, I guess it... it it couldn't exist until now, maybe? But it'll be done in... That's it, or no? What did I do here? I'm just gonna go aristocratic court here. Finally. Finally. Oh, uh, I've been chilling for quite a while, just constructing buildings, building up another army, working on gathering up admin points. Now I'm gonna declare on Ayutthaya. Really the only thing I'm interested? It's this coastal province. So, yeah, whatever else I occupy, um, I might get. I'm gonna take these three provinces that I've occupied myself. Oh, nice, another mission. Finally, admin 10. So, so late. Devved up the printing press, by the way. I just can't embrace it. Uh, gotta go maritime here for the plus 75% national sailors and the policy that it's gonna give us with uh, economic for plus 35% national sailors. So, yeah, I've managed to get this up to 32k, man. By the time we wrap it up, we should be about 60-ish k, I think, along with the other buildings that I built. And then we're just gonna keep going, conquering provinces, uh, coastal ones to build up docks. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the name of the game, man. By the way, we are the number seven great power in the world. World. We would be, well, I don't know what if we embrace the printing breath. But yeah, let's fight Khmer once again, just for the coastal province. There's the peace out. Now let's fight Patani to get their provinces. Actually, just province. Oh, it's only one coastal. Ah, oh, these wars, man. Whatever. I'm gonna do Pata uh, Kedah now for both provinces. Dude, I totally forgot about Merchant Guild's Force Draft. We gain plus 15% national sailors from that. Definitely. Easy. I guess this achievement isn't as annoying as I thought, man. It used to be a lot more difficult before all these modifiers. But yeah, there we go. We already have plus 15%. Let's check out the National Sailors modifier in here. Uh, there it is, plus 15%, so 75 more percent. Let me get out the calculator. So we got plus 15% right here. And then 75% from 
Maritime plus 35% from the policy. That's 125% already. And we're going to gain plus 10% uh, from here. So that's 135%. Now, let's say right now we got 35,000 plus 135%. That's 47 something. Still not enough, man. Still not enough. Oh, we need to conquer so much more. Well, Bahmani has broken the alliance with Bengal by it, uh, by themselves. So if I call in Janpur here, they're still way too strong. There's no point in pushing this way. I think Diviet would be way easier to fight. Let's, uh, after we get out of this war that we're helping them in, let's let's break the alliance with them and start fighting them. Now we're done here. Also just embrace the printing press. Or actually, let's not break the alliance with Diviet because they would help versus Bengal now. And uh, if bah uh, when Bahmani's truce with them expires in just about a year, they would help too. So me, Janpur, and Diviet and Bahmani's right here... Uh... We can definitely do that. Uh, Bengal's provinces, these coastal ones are like decent dev and stuff like that. At least half of them. So they would be very useful for what we're trying to do. So these are the five provinces here we're going to gun for. Yeah, I was right when I said at the start that, you know, this is going to be our only war with Bengal for a while. Luckily, we could catch them at that point, man. I think we did cripple them a bit. Uh, and Jaunpur turned out to be pretty strong. Otherwise, they would have expanded a lot more. There we go. Just by unlocking this idea, we went up to max 49k. So that's pretty good right there. All right, man. I think it's finally time to fight Bengal. Let's declare for Fathabad right there. Call in Diviet, Bahmanis, and Jaunpur. We outnumber them like this. Still going to be a super difficult war. Uh, luckily, Janpur is going to take the main hit from Malwa, Delhi, and Chagatai. Well, I guess me, Diviet, uh, me and Diviet can siege Bengal. And actually, Bahmanis is here too. That's right. Let's get it, baby. Yeah, these guys are... Uh, we, we, we fully siege down Bengal, but uh, they uh, our adversaries have really strong armies, man. Delhi, their national ideas are excellent. You know, they got KF combat right there. They took offensive and defensive. Uh, Malwa right here, they got defensive and Aristo along with their defensive focus national ideas bengal they got quantity and quality chagatai really strong they got horde offensive and yeah, these battles are going to be a nightmare man i already lost one pretty significantly by the way yeah with uh they they beat me up with these two stacks right here gotta be careful gotta be careful yeah they're beating us they're beating us real bad their armies are so strong dude bahmanis and Janpur are already out uh, i knocked out chagatai but that's it man i gotta take what i can get right here and the only thing i can get is two provinces it is what it is i decided to de destroy my alliance with malacca and fight them and their uh tributary uh, kelantan right here they'd be way easier to fight than Diviet. so yeah these are really nice provinces too almost all of them coastal too i'm actually gonna swap to this right now just so i don't forget later right now uh i noticed that i can vassalize some nations down here such as uh what's it uh kelantan right here maybe some other coastal ones so i'll try and see what i can do about that until the time comes to fight malak i'm waiting for the truce to expire and stuff like that and to spy on them of course but yeah getting a couple of provinces here for free wouldn't be bad at all you know from my subject i can even actually seize them uh at least these two that aren't their capital so yeah you know right now we're at sixty-five thousand plus 35 percent that i'm gonna unlock from the policy puts us at eighty-seven thousand. and i think man that by the point we actually you know get there to finish off maritime we will have expanded down here in malacca a bit we will have annex kilanton and i think boys this might be all we need and of course to construct uh, docks right there yeah that'll put us at eighty-seven thousand. some more provinces some more buildings yeah could be could be 100k we're not that far off and of course events like this are always lovely since i'm not using boats the sailors aren't really ever going down okay i'm gonna go ahead and declare in malacca we're probably not gonna cross here since obviously their and their allied demox navies are insane i really don't even have a navy so i wonder how much we'll be able to take with just occupying this but yeah let's uh, let's go for it call in diviet i've never seen this i can't go to singapore I think because of this fort right here. Such a strange way for it to work. Oh my, that's actually so much. How developed are these provinces? 22, 16, and 27. Jesus. Frick it. We ball. Yo, suddenly I got, uh, oh, sorry, I was taking a look at something else. I was like, where did I get max 90k sailors? But it was manpower. Back after lunch, ready to get this done. And in hindsight, I probably should have been the one to gun for China instead of Diviat. But they're way too powerful now. And I've been allied with them for so long. Might as well use them to help me beat up these guys. Not fighting anyone, by the way. Just helping Janpur fight Delhi. 
Dolly. Something else I also should have done is vassalized Khmer and forced Dive yet to give all of these cores back with the, you know, return core province favor thingy. Oh, well. Man, do I need to even wait, yo? I don't think we even need to finish Maritime because, look, we're already at 82k, right? If we go to exploit dev right here and sort by the highest amount of sailors it'll give us, uh, let me calculate right here. So it's 82456, uh, right? Yeah, 82456 plus 4260 plus 4047, uh, plus 3940, plus 2261, plus 1518, plus 1504. 99,000 plus 1500 exactly? That's 101,486. All right, let me do this. Even if we exploit a little bit, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. So let me remove my cam and stop recording you for now the screen is being recorded. So... There's an exploit, 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 there's an exploit. That's 101,000, more than 100,000 sailors, and let's wait. There it is, boom, Sailor Mon, as Pegu have at least 100,000 sailors, and with that, I can start recording you four again and get the cam back, and we can also check up here, and with that, Boys, so that's both of our goals accomplished, man. As Pegu, that's no Mon, own at least 50 provinces that are not of Mon culture. We already accomplished that earlier, Buyakasha. And now we've accomplished Sailor Mon as well as Pegu have at least 100,000 sailors, which we do. And with that, two of the most annoying achievements in U4 as one of the most annoying nations in U4 uh, is done. That's done. That's it. That's the campaign. It's a wrap. Finally. I've been playing all day. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Pegu in these five provinces right here. And, uh, you know, like I said at the start, the goal uh, as Pegu was to get these two achievements right here. That was the most liked comment, the most upvoted comment or whatever it is. But even if you guys hadn't suggested this or if it wasn't the most popular choice, this is still what I would have chosen to done because I always try and go for achievements as specific nations that I still don't have. But uh, yeah, I already said at the start, I did restart five times prior to this today you know a couple of days ago as well and i just couldn't get the ball rolling man the guys around me kept getting two strong alliances i kept playing for a couple of decades too but I ended up losing after that and you know it's not a problem if we lose in a to z right it can always be a failure officially but the thing is i kept failing too early and <laughs> the video wasn't long enough <laughs> So that's why I decided to do one final restart today, man. Uh, and no matter when we failed, no matter what we did, I decided to upload this. And it's just your luck that uh, this is the one that is a success. But yeah, start off as Pegu fighting Arkhan. Some of these small guys around here got pretty strong alliances. Fought Bengal pretty early on in one of our two wars versus them. Never really took too much from them. And after that, man, it was just a slow grind fighting Ava and all of their tributaries right here before eating all of those guys up and then, you know, pummeling Ayutthaya and Lan now, which is apparently one of the hardest nations in EU4 to fight. So, so strong. But yeah, with the help of my allies, we did play a really, really long campaign, but that just because uh, the nations that we fought, man, specifically like Bengal and uh, Ayutthaya and all of these guys right here were so strong that I couldn't really stay in, uh, you know, all out wars versus them and take anything I wanted. And also due to the fact that uh, aggressive expansion is insane over in Southeast Asia, so I really couldn't be taking too much provinces all at once. The biggest problem this campaign was definitely uh, the slog that I just mentioned, but also our horrible luck with the rulers and stuff like that. I was significantly behind. Oh, I was significantly behind on admin points this entire campaign, man. Up until about, I would say, 40 years ago. Uh, we were making money uh, pretty much the entire campaign, but, you know... Uh, sort of the loan situation was kind of messed up this campaign i can never really get rid of all these uh four percent or three and a half percent loans which i usually do get rid of by after playing you know after playing 100 years or so and just rely on burger loans so even though we did construct a ton of stuff man all the marketplaces built up a bunch of courthouses a bunch of workshops a bunch of churches uh, a bunch of docks and all of the say uh coastal province and stuff like that uh you know the way i see it is you know you get five thousand ducats and build 50 buildings i never really did that 
I got a couple hundred, built a couple buildings, got a couple hundred, built a couple buildings. But aside from that, pretty fun campaign, man. Took defensive, which I do think was a pretty good choice. Economic as the second one, I also think was a pretty good choice. And we did end up needing this, obviously, but we didn't even need the policy between economic and maritime. I have yet to do two more maritime ideas. These are the sailor modifiers that we have. One of them is from a government reform, and the other one is, of course, from the, uh, what you call it, the Merchant Guild's Force Draft thingy, which uh, definitely we couldn't have done it without those two, or I should say we would need the policy between maritime and economic if we didn't take those two right there. But honestly, super fun campaign. I probably could have wrapped it up a bit earlier as well if I just remembered to check the exploit dev now because uh, we could have gotten definitely uh, about... 30k sailors from uh exploiting everywhere that we could have which is super super nice but yeah i'm glad this campaign is over man i've been trying to play it for about a week now you guys know that i record pretty far in advance about 10 to 7 days in advance this campaign was supposed to be recorded on um thursday the 11th uh sorry no on thursday the 4th right now it's uh tuesday the 9th and you guys will see it on uh, sunday the 14th so it did take me quite a while to get this campaign running but yeah, those were the two goals. We accomplished them. Video was long enough already, so let's wrap it. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Pegu in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Pegu in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do as this nation next week. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today. And join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.